As the race for Net Zero heats up, wind and solar farms are emerging at such a rapid pace that the transmission system struggles to keep up. To address this challenge and unlock more land for renewable energy projects, the Australian energy market operator, AEMO, has proposed building new transmission lines across the western and northern regions of Victoria. Two significant projects, the Western Renewables Link and VNI West, are part of these plans. These projects aim to bring clean energy generated in the southern parts of New South Wales and the western regions of Victoria to Melbourne. These transmission lines are critical to ensure that renewable energy can flow efficiently to meet the growing demand, especially as the coal power stations begin to close. The closure of coal power stations will increase the pressure on renewable energy to deliver constant power. However, wind and solar energy generation can be intermittent, as weather conditions such as cloud cover and low wind speeds can momentarily re reduce output. To address this variability, large battery installations are being built. These batteries can store energy when generation is high and release it when the generation dips, providing a buffer that helps smooth out supply and maintain stability in the electrical network. These projects will help drive down power prices simply by increasing supply. However, the community impacts can be significant, as transmission lines needed for these projects may cut through prime agricultural land, causing loss of productive land and decreased land prices. Additionally, wind farms can create divisions within communities, with some landholders benefiting from turbine installations, while their neighbours do not. Addressing these challenges will require careful planning and consultation to balance the benefits of renewable energy with the needs of the affected communities. The argument for undergrounding the lines is a costly one, costing billions of dollars more and reducing the flexibility for future projects. Underground cables cannot be tapped into to build new connection points, meaning the future projects would need to construct longer sub-transmission lines to reach the existing connection point. This not only increases costs, but also leads to higher energy losses during transmission.